I thought I would expand a little bit about this little rig that I use for bending the bow tie phase lines and my uh, almost everything. I, I use it one way or another. Up here I bend the larger bends for the Hoverman. But down here, this is an exact representation of the three insulators on the bow tie antenna, the center three. So you would have the feed point here in the middle, one on the end, uh, that would be the bottom, and there's another one up here, it's out of the picture. And uh, they're exactly 4.5 inches apart, the same as the insulators, the same as the um, screw mounts on the bow tie. Now here, let me bring the bow tie in. Uh, I can do it without. But everything lines up perfectly. And it took a little while to figure this. But that lines up exactly. So that when I go to bend the phase line, I'm bending so it fits exactly. If you watch the last video there, you can see these guys just, they bent right on there very well. And uh, what I want to show here is, this is just a piece of aluminum I've had. You can get one somewhere. You can also use a plank of wood. You can use a uh, old tabletop. You can use a piece of plywood. Whatever you can. What I did here was I first marked it off. I made a mark. Made a cross mark at my uh, first insulator. Went down to the second one, exactly 4.5 inches on center. That's directly in the center of that hole. Then I drilled a hole. Punch a, a pilot hole in there and drill it out very carefully. Like I said, this is aluminum. It's very sturdy. I use it for a lot of things besides antennas. And that gives me, so that when I go to bend, I can create this all in one piece and have it actually fit because I had a heck of a time when you're trying to bend these things each time you make a bend you're consuming copper from one end or the other and uh, that's why I always I always say start in the middle here's the middle right here you start in the middle because you're consuming copper from both ends this this piece will get shorter you're making bends you're using copper you're using the wire and uh, each one has to be fit perfectly so when it goes around that that insulator screw the next one is lined up perfectly you don't want them bent laying off to one side or the other you want them nice and neat now the next measurement I did here was from here to this hole. This is exactly a quarter of an inch as you can see right there if you can see that. It's a quarter of an inch on center. When I put these two together, when I put both posts in there, I have a one inch, I have a one eighth of an inch separation between them. And that, is, that worked out to be uh, exactly what I needed because when I bend this the first bend goes back and now I'm coming to where this is where it will wrap around this is the screw in the insulator you have to this is, simulates the screw in the insulator and we're wrapping around that and when I do this we're just coming back See how I hold it up against this post and hold this down? It can be uh, a little tedious. But that gives you a very, very nice bend. And it's in line. And your next one will be in line. To get the next one, I flip the copper over. I line this up on the last post. Bring this on, on this side so it it's kind of even along that line and then when I make this bend
Oops. There's always something in the way. Always. You can see it stays very nice. And this goes on the other side. This comes, this bend goes on the other side of that post. Hold it in there and bend it around and line it up with that red line. That makes you so that the center of these bends is exactly 4.5 inches. Exactly. And when you put it on your bow tie, it lines up perfectly every time. And uh, it just was something to make my life easier. So to like crank out some phase lines without going crazy trying to bend bend around each individual post and not knowing a measurement. And then even when I was measuring, I had a difficult time. Here you make one set of measurements, you drill the holes. As long as they're correct, you're golden. You'll get it good. Now back here is where I experimented. I had a hole too close. I didn't have enough room to get a piece of copper in there and really bend it right. It just did. It, it's, you have to fool with things all the time. But this worked out very well. It does the job. It does the job. They line up every time. I can make a hundred of these and uh, next week make a hundred antennas and they all fit exactly. Now if they're off by a little bit, you just tweak it. And again, you're hammer comes in, keep it flat, keep the piece nice. And if you, uh, if you prefer, you can take a ball peen hammer, which somebody moved from my bench and flatten out that, flatten out that bend. Now, when you flatten it out, it changes the dimensions. So put it back on the rig and make sure it's lined up perfectly. But you see how that goes perfectly around there. It does work. It, it saves a lot of aggravation, trust me. It's, uh, I just try to pass on the things that are easy. But exactly four and a half inches between, there's a quarter of an inch between this post and that post, the center, the exact center of that post of that second hole. You only need one place to do your bending. Everything else is just for lining up. See, that just helps you line up. And each time you move it, it lines up. They all line up perfectly. Uh, hope that helped.